Hell, if we've been honest, maybe even years on how I want to be remembered. I feel like no one knows the real me, like the real shy. Some days I don't know what I want to do or even what I want to wear, but I do know who I am and you will too. I have story times for days that taught me so many life lessons and ain't no telling what you'll see on a weekend vlog, child. Welcome to my channel. Hey y'all, what's up? Yes, it's me again. Shy. Yes, I'm in the bathroom, but guess what? I'm not doing a review today. Y'all, I haven't did one of these in so long. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And definitely like if you like these this kind of video. So y'all, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna get all the way into it. I haven't did one of these in so long. And guess what, you guys? I'm doing a drink with me. So before this video starts, go grab your kata if you're over if you are in over the age of 21 years old, that is. Please don't drink and drive. Okay. So I'm drinking this little Chi-Chi's Mexican mud slide. Y'all, I took a little silk because I was like, let me just get a little silk before my chest burning. Why is my chest burning? Why is my chest burning? Mm. This thing kind of, this thing kind of strong. It's like, what is it like? Um, 12% in here. Yeah. So y'all, if you're very excited, you already know what this is going to be about. Yes. Me, Shy, I used to work at Forever 21 in my early 20s, y'all. In my early, 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 okay, I'm done. <laughs> I know y'all like, we are tired of her shit. Okay, y'all, while I said at work, if I, oh, I'm not telling y'all myself, <laughs> whatever. I wrote a whole bunch of notes, because... I suck at telling stories sometimes so this is just gonna be like kind of if you're thinking about if you're a young girl and you're thinking about for working at forever 21 or you work at forever 21 you just started working at forever 21 well, continue to watch this video okay so I'm gonna get into it get into it every time I say forever 21 you take a sip forever 21 Okay, let's get into my mm, Forever 21 horror story, you guys. So, if I'm looking down, I'm looking at my notes so I can remember. Like, I really had to brainstorm for this video. Okay, so I started Forever 21 when I was like 19 going on 20. Like, literally, like, that year, it had to be one of the most... Um, I won't say the toughest year, but it was kind of just like, I did not know at late 19 going into 20 what I wanted to do with my life. I just dropped out of college. I felt like crap. I didn't have no job. I was getting money from my mom, my granddad, my grandma. You know, like, I just felt like crap. And like, I'm just the type of person, I like to have my own. And I feel like I wasn't having my own like at all like my granddad he would take me all types of places to job interviews and lo and behold i seen someone post about this forever 21 um job fair and i was like oh wow they were opening a new f i'm not gonna name locations but i live in jordan atlanta metro uh, the metro who oh excuse me it's drank into me the metro atlanta area they were opening a new location okay i i haven't been 20 um since seven years ago <laughs> does that even make sense i haven't been 20 since seven years ago <laughs> what <laughs> i was 27 years ago okay let's just say that okay almost eight years ago it's been a long time it's been a long time okay so i um hit up my granddad because at that time i didn't have a car um, I was like granddaddy's little princess. So I hit up my granddad. I asked him did he um could he take me to the interview? 
So, of course, he took me to the interview. My granddad's retired. And I also hit up my friend, Jessica. I'm going to say her real name because that's my girl. We still cool. Um, Jessica. And I let her know because I think she was looking for a job, too. And I let her know. I was all like, girl, Forever 21, they doing a job fair, girl. Like, ooh, ooh, this is going to be so cute for us. Like, you know how, like, girls, <laughs> like, how we be, like, being young in your early 20s, you're just like really 19 you're like oh my god this is gonna be so cute i'm gonna be ringing up people like i'm gonna have all the cute clothes like we're just thinking like that so i went to the job on um, fair and like they first of all they have you fill out everything like as if you got the job they give you like a job package and you just fill out and you just start filling out your job booklet until they call you in for an interview. So, um, I filled out my booklet, wait for my name to get called. It was a lot of people. It was a lot of girls there. I was like, dang, how many girls do y'all meet? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> so, you guys, um, so I filled out a uh, thing and they called me up there and it was like a panel. It was like forever 21 people. Forever 21. I ain't gonna drink with y'all, but I'm a little thirsty. Mm. Mm. But it was on like managers and directors from other Forever 21s. It was like six people on the panel, and you sit in front of them, and they just ask you questions. And I'm just like, I'm nervous because this is like one of my first like i had interviews before but you know i'm still in the beginning stage of finding jobs i'm so young so i was nervous i answered the questions and you know it was it that was it um and i went to my grandma's house and then i remember them telling us they was all like you'll know by the end of today if you know we want to continue with you so i got to my grandma's house and Y'all, I was so. I just remember. This is how I know. Like, I feel like I'm about to cry. Is it the liquor? <laughs> this is how I know God is real. So I remember, like, because, like, at the time, I was on my granddad's phone plan. And I just, sometimes I just felt so bad that I really couldn't help him pay my phone bill, you know. But, of course, like, now I see that a lot of people my age still own their parents' stuff. But, anyways. I remember just like feeling like after the interview, I don't know. I didn't feel like, oh my God, I got a chance. I just felt like whatever, another job interview. So I remember going in my grandma's bathroom, my grandparents' bathroom, and I just start crying. Like, oh my God, young shine. Like, girl, it's okay. But I just start crying. I got on my knees and I just started praying. I was all like, God, please give me this job. Please give me this job. Like, please give me this job. And like I said, this is how I know God is real. Because as soon as, like, I was wrapping up my prayer, my phone started ringing. Like, it hadn't even been a couple of hours after the interview. My phone started ringing. So... I pick up and then he's like, yeah, this is Dada Dada from Forever 21. We want to let you know that we want to hire you. I was all like, God is so real. Like, God is real. Like, and then I just started, I was all like, okay, thank you so much. And they let me know um, when to, you know, start and meet up or whatever. And they was all like, we will stay in touch, da, 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 da. And I was just, I hung up the phone and I started crying again. And I was all like, God, like that's like the very first moment I actually felt like God, you know, is real. Like, yes, I believe in God, but like at that moment, He was definitely real. Okay, y'all, so let's get into it. So I remember my friend; she also got the job. So when I say y'all, it was a lot of girls in there. It was a lot of girls in there, like two hundred girls in that interview um, job fair. So y'all. We get to the okay, so the store haven't opened yet. I just told y'all it's a new store. Um, the store has not opened yet. Um, 
And I'll call my friend. I'm making sure we pull up at the same time. I'm all like, I got a, I got a friend working with me. So I ain't finna be in this thing alone. You know, when you younger, you just, you be like that. You be scared to go places. Well, I know me. I do. Because I got a little anxiety. So we pulled, I remember her getting out of the car. And I got out of the car. And when she got out of the car, um, I think both of our moms dropped us off. <laughs> so, um, or I don't know. Did Jessica drive? I don't know. Either, either or. So we both went in, it's an empty building, it's in a pavilion, it's an empty building, and there's so many other girls out there. And I was all like, wow, they hired a lot of girls, like a lot of girls, did they not tell nobody no? So y'all, mm, just to my surprise, we get in there, they're talking to us, they're like, yeah, congratulations y'all, welcome, like it's a lot of us, like, and just imagine a lot of people in like this empty warehouse looking thing, like, cause it wasn't a Forever 21 yet, and it was our first day, and they told us we was gonna be working that whole week, and we we're like, what are we gonna be doing, y'all, and it was late at night, like, we had to meet up at 10 p.m., and I'm just wondering, like, why are we meeting up at 10 p.m.? Um, and I'm looking out the window and there's tr trucks coming, big tractor trailers. And they're like, yeah, so today we're going to be, you know, getting the inventory off the truck. I looked at her. She looked at me. <laughs> I'm not going to tell y'all what I said because what I said wasn't appropriate for <laughs> For uh for YouTube, I just I was like, who that? So this is why y'all hire so many people to basically help y'all. We we ain't we ain't me like it was a few boys there, but most of us was like girls, like young girls, girly girls, trying to work in Forever Twenty One. Y'all, when I tell y'all, and then and then it started raining. They had us carrying loads off a truck like we worked for some kind of warehouse or something and if you know me I, do, I don't do labor I don't I don't I don't so we did that y'all I was tired I was breathing hard and I got asthma so you know I was down bad I was so down bad like I feel like I was passing out and we would just like stand in the line and just get the boxes off the truck get the box off the truck get back in line and just do it all over and all over like we were some slaves so that process that day was done we did that for like i think two nights we did that for two nights i believe if my memory is not messing with me so the rest of the week we worked and what we did was basically put the store together i'm talking about building the uh mannequins building the shelves putting clothes on hangers they had us in different like they counted us <laughs> counted us in different groups like off in different groups i feel like i was in school again like <laughs> is this the seventh grade like they had us like you're in like every manager had a group so you're in these are not the managers names by the way you are in mary's group you are in sean's group you are in michael's group you know like just had us in different groups with different managers and there were also managers from different stores helping helping so yeah so that went on about a week so let's talk about grand opening y'all so grand opening when i say everybody worked on grand opening the store was so packed the line was like i pulled up for work on time and people were waiting in the line because I think you got a free gift card if you was like the first 25 or something. So people were already running in the line. I was all like, what did I sign up for? And all of us work. All of us work. Y'all, y'all know I got to check my notes. I'm trying. <laughs> I got to check my notes. Ooh. This got like some milk or something. Ooh. And then, I think it might be tearing my stomach up. Mm -hmm. so you know my mom came to the opening and then her friends came to the opening like everybody came to the opening to see me and, it, and I worked like the fitting room 
that was one of my main jobs at Forever 21. Work in the fitting room and the register. So, I worked in the fitting room. Um, I would say I realized they hired so many people because they knew that so many people would just die off. Well, not die physically, but you know, just fall off, fall off. So, so many people just start falling off, falling off, falling off, falling off. Um, we're going to start getting into the issues with working retail, um, especially for Forever 21. I think I made like $8.25. This was back in, what, 2017? Um, beginning 2018, 2017, 2018? Or was it? Or 2016, 2017. So, um, number one, like, if you... Or you're a young girl, it's a cool job to have. But like they paid like eight twenty five. What you gonna do with that? Or I might have got paid seven some to be honest. And let me tell you, you get no hours. You are gonna get no hours unless you're the director of the store or the managers. They are the ones that work all week. The associates, you're gonna get one to two days a week unless unless they have nobody you know like people are quitting and they have nobody else to call on unless three if you're lucky like three days if they're showing favoritism three days if they show a favoritism um i've experienced being talked to like people ain't got no sense like People talk to me like this is the only thing I had going. In reality, I'm barely getting $200 a check. 200, barely getting $200 every two weeks. So I did not understand why you're talking to me like this. Like you got me messed up. And when I call out on you, don't ask me why. You know, because <laughs> you really got me messed up. Like they really used to like, and it just used to really bother me because it's like, this is not what I want to do my whole life. And you're older than my mom you're 40 plus talking to me like like you're my i don't know like ma'am like it was just this one manager in particular like she didn't come like i stayed at forever 21 for a good two two and a half years okay because it was just you know it was something to do and like in my big in my early 20s i was in this party stage i didn't want a real job then like, I didn't because I was partying all the time. And I was calling out, too. So, <laughs> it, how I'm calling out and I only got two days a week? That's the thing. Anyways. <laughs> just horrible. I'm so happy I got my life together. <laughs> but, anyways. But, it was a manager in particular. Like, she just used to, like, talk people crazy. And it's like, lady, you've been working retail all your life. Like, I don't. I'm not putting anyone down for working retail all your life, but like I seriously think that if that's all you want to do, like it's okay if you work retail as a part time and you have other jobs, you know, or you're just working this job until you want to become who you, be. you know, you're just building yourself, you know. But I really feel like, and it's the liquor talking, it is the liquor talking, like you really lack ambition if all you want to do is fold clothes for the rest of your life. So ma'am, if you ever watch this video and you know I'm talking about you because you threatened me too many times. And she was just a regular manager. I think she was an assistant like director or something i don't know but she couldn't she always started to like fire me over my attendance and it never happened it never happened it never happened <laughs> it never happened and it was just so irritating but yeah like there is something you're you lack some kind of ambition you know like i don't know like you know and forgive me if i sound just crazy but i'm the most humble person ever but it's like, young me, I, I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. I don't want to hang clothes for the rest of my life. So don't talk to me like I'm about to be hanging clothes for the rest of my life. <laughs> it's a liquor. It's a liquor. 
But ain't nothing wrong with it. I mean, if you sincerely enjoy doing that and you find a happiness in it, like, that's good for you. But me, as the go-getter I am, like, I, I, I just couldn't do that. Like, I felt like there was something else better to do with my time. On top of that, it was the, you only got like a 15 minute break. What am I going to do in 15 minutes? Like, I've been here since 8 a.m. in the, not even 8 a.m., 7 a.m. in the morning. Because you got there an hour before the store closed. I mean, open. So, you can fix the store up just in case it was a mess from the last night. And, um, clean up or whatever. So, I've been here since 7 a.m. And it's now 12. And you're telling me I get 15 minutes. Okay. Cool. Um... <laughs> What else I have on my list, you guys? Uh, the stealing customers. I'll tell y'all the stealing story. So one time, this lady had her kids in there, and they were they had like bags from another store, and they was and it was like three older women and their kids, and they were just stealing, stealing. And I remember one of my coworkers, she was all like, "Ma'am, uh, I said, girl, you do not get paid over that. I said, let them do them, let them do them." And she still was like, no. I said, girl, you, it is some people that, that be trying to, like, be a manager or something. I tried to stop them. The lady, like, cussed us straight out. She was like, if y'all get the fuck out of my face. I was like, see, I told you to mind your business. Because, baby, that shirt that's in that bag is your paycheck. So why, <laughs> so what are you concerned? <laughs> Like, people used to just boldly steal. And the customers wasn't the only ones that were stealing. The employees were stealing. Like, I don't even know these girls no more in real life. So, I don't even care. I'm going to tell everybody right business. And I, and I forgot names, too. Except for one. <laughs> but, I remember they used to, like, at the end of the night or, like, throughout the day, like, they'll, like, put on accessories and just wear the accessories. And I remember, like, one girl, she would, like, put on a pair of shades, like, all day. And, like, one girl, she would, like, put on a headband. And, like, they used to do that like it was nothing. And they used to steal it. Like, because if you're wearing it all day, like, people, like, the managers and stuff gonna look like, oh, you must have bought that. Oh, you know. So, that's how they used to steal. They would just put stuff on and wear it all day. And I'm all like... Two dollar glasses, it's, it's not that serious, baby. I know we don't get paid much, but it, you know, take it how you get it, take it how you get it, y'all. And I have another horror story. There was this one time, this lady, she pooped, yes, pooped in the back of the store. She said she had some kind of procedure and it was just falling. Yeah, the store smelled horrible. We had to close the store down for the whole rest of the day. I don't understand how things like that happen, <laughs> but it happens. What? <sighs> so, you know, young girls, because young, the young 20 year olds now, they like to wear Louis, Gucci, Rick Owens. They like to wear, and so do I. But I'm a little older now, and I make a little more money. Well, a lot more money <laughs> compared to what I was making. Um, and uh, you know, like y'all like to wear stuff like that, y'all. I don't know if times have changed in the forever between one business, but if they have, comment below and let me know. But y'all not gonna be able to get that with making that kind of money. So. I don't even know if people really still trying to get these jobs. But yeah, those are some of my, you know, it's just it just it, it just wasn't for me. Working retail in general is just not for me. And being humble, like I'm so humble. I'm so humble. I pray for that job and I got a job and I'm so grateful God gave it to me. Like, cause I don't know where like that job really help make who I am today to be honest um let me look at my list let me look at my list um so plus sides of the job I'm not just gonna shed on the negative negativity um I have met a lot of celebrities working there I met um 
Well, I checked out the brat. I wouldn't say I met her because I, I'm the type of person, I'm not going to be all like, oh my gosh, you're this person. You're this person. I'm not going to be like that. I'm just going to check you out like a normal person. I'm just, that's just not me. I'm not a starstruck kind of person. I'm, I mean, I am from Atlanta. We see them every day, baby. <laughs> um, I met uh, Stranger Things, Millie, Bobby Brown. Um, because this might let y'all know what location I worked at. But um, they filmed Stranger Things not too far from where I worked. So she came in and I didn't even know it was her because she looked so, you know, 11 and i watched stranger things 11 in the show she looks like a little boy and like the, the girl was so pretty and the manager i was working with today he he started freaking out he was like oh my god he was kind of great he was like oh my god oh my god something the hell wrong with you oh my god oh my god i was all like he was all like you're checking out millie bobby brown i was all like girl that's you <laughs> oh okay hmm. I, I like the show <laughs> but that was it she and he was just so starstruck he was like can i get a picture can i get a picture i was all like that's not me i did not get a picture now that i see how big she is now maybe i should have got a picture um even lotto lotto was a regular in our store she wasn't i mean lotto has always been a local star from where i'm from so like everybody like you know around where we was knew of lotto and she was just a regular her and her sister used to come in there all the time all the time child um let's see oh we're going back to the negative that's just dang that's really only one positive and like not dang it is only one positive but let me just say i'm getting caught my court <laughs> um so they if you work retail i i think it's any retail job they wouldn't they have this rule where you cannot be off during the holiday season at all y'all i lied so much i told them people people died lord bless my soul they still alive <laughs> but i told people died because like my family we used to go on cruises around the holiday times so yeah, I was like, I don't know. And they used to be all like, if you miss a holiday, um, when you're scheduled, you're gonna get fired. A couple people died a few times, multiple times. Fucking with me, okay? <laughs> uh, but you know, I prayed on it. I don't do that no more. I don't do that. I don't kill people off no more, okay? Um, so if you're planning on working for a retail, you're not going to get no time off during the holidays unless you lie like me. Um, and the place is very clicked up. I've always been a, um introvert, very to myself person. So clicks really, that, that was never my thing. Like, you know, I was, I'm always cool with people, but like that click stuff, mm -mm, that ain't me. Um, <laughs> so it was very clicked up. Like oftentimes I felt like I was on... I mean, I got along so well with the guys I worked with because they wasn't, they were so goofy and like, like everybody was, for the most part, everybody there was chill, but it was definitely a little clicked up, especially when I first started working there, like girls were like clicking real bad, real bad. And like I said, I had my friend that I went to high school with, me and her, you know, we did our own little thing. I was so mad they didn't put us in the same group though um let's see what else we got on this list okay so that is kind of my story time about working at forever 21 if you guys got any questions comment down below <laughs> if you guys want to know more you better like <laughs> um but yeah like i remember when i tried it i quit one time thinking i found me a job y'all <clears throat> I found me a job. I thought I found me a job. It was a warehouse job. And I was just like, I told the director, I said, girl, I'm out. I was like, no more, don't put me on no more two days. No more two days for me, girl. I'm out. She said, okay. And she thought like that too. Okay. Mm -hmm. She said, like, I like her though. She was like the last director that worked there when, because we had a few. I guess not director she will be like a store manager she was a store manager um 
It's like, okay, girl. I was like, yeah, I'm out of here. Y'all, I worked for that warehouse a week and I quit. I don't do label. I told y'all that. And I called her right back. Girl, put my two days back on that schedule. <laughs> put my two days back on that schedule. She said, okay. No problem. They haven't got you out of the system yet. <laughs> I said, you my girl. <laughs> but <laughs> but it was crazy because like a month after that, I finally found um, another job. It was an actual big girl job, a nine to five job and an office job. <laughs> basically kind of officey kind of we might get into that job later yeah i was working for a jail um yeah so once i got dated yeah i was working for the jail and i started off part-time there so i had two part-time jobs that made it feel like i had a full-time job and eventually i was offered to work at the jail for a full time so I decided to leave Forever 21 finally at the age of the right age of 22 so I worked at Forever 21 for like a year I mean two years and a half but yeah y'all that's my horror story time about Forever 21 I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope it was a good video I used to like looking at videos like this when I was younger just to see like what is this work life like and I hope you guys can just watch it and learn something and maybe i mean ain't nothing wrong especially when you're in your early 20s ain't nothing wrong with working a retail job because it, it helps you get by you know it's something in your pocket ain't nothing wrong with it and even if you have a full-time job and you just want some extra money ain't nothing wrong with working a retail job but sometimes it be the people you're working for that makes the retail job horrible but <laughs> and i'm just so blessed to be out of this situation I'm gonna tell y'all one last thing. I remember this one time, this late, this girl came in there. She had a bag full of clothes. She was all like, oh my God. She was all like, she was trying on the clothes. She was like, girl, I'm so happy I don't work retail no more. And I just, I prayed again. I said, Lord, I wanna be like her. And she bought all those clothes. And I think like back then her total was like, you know, you can get a lot of clothes for $200 in Forever 21. Her total was like $200. And just recently, I went to Forever 21 and spent like $200 like months ago, maybe beginning of the year. And I just, I thought about that time that girl came in and I just instantly started praying. I was all like, thank you, God. Like, I never, I mean, I always knew that I was going to get out of that situation, but it just felt so good to be like, you just have a full circle moment. Like, now I'm that girl coming in for every 21 spending $200 when that's all I used to make on a check like it's so crazy y'all it's so crazy but thank you guys for watching comment share and subscribe